Alright guys, welcome back. We are now on part 18 of Final Fantasy V Advance. When we last left off, we went through the Forest of Moor. We encountered four crystalline structures. We beat the crap out of them. We found out that they were actually the crystals, and Axe used them to nearly kill us. And then Galoof went nuts and broke one. And now we need to go to Axe castle and stop him. Now... Galoof died, unfortunately, but now we get his granddaughter, Krill, into our party. She starts off with all of Galoof's experience and equipment. Um, I just need to set her into a class, so we'll go ahead and throw her into Red Mage, like Galoof was, because Krill is very magic-focused. Uh, she, she is actually the best spellcaster in the game, she just takes forever to actually, you know, learn her stuff. Um, but... Granted, um, well, she doesn't really take forever, but she has all the same, uh, she has all the same experience that Galoof had up to this point. Um, so, you just want to make sure to re-equip her and pick up right from where Galoof left off. Alright, so anyway, without further ado... Oh, I can't leave you guys alone for a minute! Really, uh... oh, these guys are worth some ability points. Hey, treasure! We like treasure. And... These guys are, like, useless. But they're worth a nice chunk of ability points, so we'll go ahead and beat the crap out of them. Ooh, and actually, this Hellraiser enemy is somebody that we want very badly. Good, we have control over. Krill's turn comes around again. White Wind. This is one of the best blue magics in the game. It's actually one of the best magics in the game. If you remember, um... What's his name? The Akindu used it in the second Gilgamesh fight. To heal Gilgamesh. And now we have it. Hmm. Oh, adorable. They have permanent reflect on them. But they die real easy. Before I kill this guy, let's see if he has anything worth 
Nope. Blind Wolf has any blue magics worth using. Well, that happened. Thank you, Ferris. Alright, what? Yeah, it's a dead end. You can blame Barks for that. And the last of the Dawn Warriors have fallen. place. I'm not sure how I feel about this place, but... Wow, this place is creepy. Alright, um... Let's see, do you have anything worth stealing? Probably not, which is why you're dead now. Lena, please don't kill the magic dragon before I have a chance to control it. Alright, what do 
what you got? Um, well, that is a... Oh, I can only cast it on enemies. That's annoying. Alright. Well, we just learned a new spell. That's good. Um, probably heal that. Oh, crap. Esona uh, is a level four white magic spell. It's not level. It's not level three. That's annoying. All right. Well, come on. Cast another level spell. Yeah. Whatever. The Magic Dragons actually have a couple level spells, oh. But they're only going to actually cast those said level spells if they can actually hit with them. So, I need to get Ferris up to level 36 before my next ma- uh, in order for the next Magic Dragon fight to be worth anything. That was adorable, but it wasn't very good. But uh, the the magic dragons have level four or level three old or sorry level two old, level three flare and level four gravaga. But level and uh, the enemies with the level spells are actually smart about it. They won't actually cast it unless they know they can hit with it. And there is also a level 5 spell, level 5 death. But um, there are no enemies at this point in the game who actually know it. I don't remember if this twin lizard actually knows anything worthwhile, so we'll give it a sec. Probably gonna kill it. No. All right. Well. That was my white mage, and I'm out of. I am out of Phoenix Downs.
Well, the enemies here at least give fairly decent AP, so that's something. This place is a gigantic friggin' maze. What kind of nifty abilities do you have, Golem? You do not have any nifty abilities at all. anything worth stealing, you don't have any cool abilities, what good are you? You're just there to soak up damage. I'm really hoping that these guys are counting, or these guys raising each other is counting towards the total experience I get at the end of this. Does not appear to be so. That is bothersome. Alright, so let's try controlling one of these black warlocks and seeing if I can get anything out of them. That is, if Lena doesn't just kill it. Tell me your secrets, Black Warlock. Mm. You do not actually know anything worthwhile, so I banish you. Which didn't work. This is potentially going to end badly. There we go. Uh -huh. Oh, do 
not like this room. passage over there. you to Thief, so we can see where this hidden passageway is. Of course it is. Alright. So, let's put Barts into Geomancer, because Geomancers are immune to damage from floors. Put you in the back row to minimize damage. This is not ending well. Because I have a Geomancer, I am immune to the damage. Ooh, a new bow. Oh wait, it's the same bow I already had. You know what? Having two is fine, just in case I get another, uh, decide to have two rangers running at once. a new enemy type that I haven't seen before. Mm. Alright, well, either way, let's get our job set back up. Hmm? 
Oh, no. Red Blue mages can equip shields. Red mages can't. That's right. Hmm. Oh, I see. Well. Okay. That's how this is gonna work. There we go. Yay, treasure. Hmm. Do you have anything to steal? You have a potion. Awesome. Why do you have the Dancing Dagger equipped? There we go. Alright. I need to switch you back to an actual real sword. Days Hall Dance. What does that do? Something tells... Oh, puts to sleep. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Oh, what am I doing? Well, actually, might as well take advantage of the convenient save point that is convenient. It's not like I'm about to face a boss pretty soon. One of these abductor guys. Let's see, do you have anything I can steal? Ooh, high potion. That's actually useful. It's a new samurai weapon. And it's better than the one I've currently got, so we'll go with that. Huh. Alright, Blue Dragon needs to die. Because that thing just put sap on my party. Lovely. Alright, drown in my wealth. Ooh, wow, 13 points? That's, uh... That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Alright. 
Let's go ahead and see what is up here. Um, well, we've are. Ooh, elixir is always good. I don't like you anymore. potion. Well, I know I can't get you to cast level 3 flare on my party. Oh, huh. Zeninage acts like throw. It doesn't actually... the game doesn't consider it a physical attack. Oh, I just got all my money back that I just spent throwing. to take damage. Well, actually, no. We do not have to take damage. Where's my Geomancer? Uh, there we go. Krill, you're a Geomancer now. Yeah, I don't feel like fighting you guys. fight should actually be worth a decent amount of XP, so we'll go ahead and fight it. Drown in my wealth! Okay, as you might imagine, we're about to fight a summon. So, let's go ahead and get Krill back over to her Red Mage class. And... We can't actually control summons. Meet Carbuncle! Uh, he has auto-reflect on at all times. Isn't that wonderful? However, there is a very easy way to completely and utterly cheap him. Well, first we want to steal his Reflect Ring, and then we get someone with Summon, and realize that I don't have a sufficiently high-level Summon with Krill. Because I'm a bad player. Uh, this is bad. Alright, so it looks like we're doing this the hard way. The easy way is um, bring Carbuncle and have Carbuncle, or use Carbuncle on, or use Catalivas on Carbuncle, and basically just laugh. Unfortunately, we 
we don't exactly have that ability. Oh wait, why am I trying to steal from Carbuncle? I already stole the Reflect Ring from it. And, of course, since Carbuncle has permanent auto-reflect up, you can't actually... Oh, no, that's just dirty. Zeninage, because we just saw it did zero damage. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think you had anything to steal. Petrify. actually have tempted to let him kill me, just so that I can come back with uh, Lena having summon and not Krill. Well, we'll see what happens if I actually beat him or not. Or I can just beat him. back in Geomancer mode. And let's go ahead and run back to that save point. Oh wait, that save point's a bit out of the way. Alright, maybe not. <laughs> blue dragons there? Interesting. Ooh, 8,000 gil. That's nice. Yellow dragons. Lovely. Alright. Do you have anything worth stealing? Potentially. 
healing. Oh, I can control you. Good. magic I want to get. And you have a lot of health. Way too much health. These dragons are worth a nice chunk of ability points. Hmm. Ah. Hey, another save point that is very convenient and necessary. back on Red Mage. So I'm going to go ahead and save here. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break, and when I come back, we will finish off X-Death's castle and hopefully kill the big man himself. So see you guys in a little